please unpack for our viewers, what was that Stop Sop campaign all about? Right. So you, you mentioned, you know, wokeism. Woke. I mean, it sounds like such a, a, a an unserious word. Adolescence, almost. Trendy. Faddish. Uh, but it's actually a very dangerous thing because it's the politics of identity. Now, it says that you are your identity, your race, your gender, your disability, your sexuality, or the, as the case may be, and that no one is a, just a human being. They, Your identity is the lens through which you, your life must be lived and through which you will be treated. And so this is uh, an ideology that's come to the fore at the Law Society of Ontario, as in many other institutions in our society. It's transforming our culture. And as you mentioned, the issue four years ago at the Law Society was this statement of principles, obligation to acknowledge uh, our, our, our obligation to promote equity, diversity, and inclusion. And th this most recent election was essentially a, um, a revisiting of the question about whether or not woke policies were going to be at the forefront of the way the Law Society operated and the requirements that it put upon its licensees and now, sorry go ahead yes go ahead well well the, the 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 election that four years ago went very well in the sense that we elected people who were against this kind of development and this time around we lost we lost um pretty much all the seats on the board uh, and so the the agenda and it's a long agenda adopted to promote these kinds of ideological principles are are you know, we expect them to to proceed. So, I mean, we mentioned these woke principles, and sometimes I hesitate to use that term because many Canadians don't know what that word means, and we could talk about the principles themselves rather than with this catchphrase. But the other, it, it, but it also could be a dog whistle that people perk up and say, "Oh, well, what's going on here?" Um, four years ago, these principles weren't described as woke, but now they are. Um, talk to me about why these principles are problematic from four years ago, and then and then we'll maybe we'll talk a little bit about what's going on now. Right. So, so the the statement of principles um, requirement from four years ago did did at least two negative things. Number one, it was a form of compelled speech. It required all the lawyers and paralegals in the province to write down a statement of their own, acknowledging their embrace of the law society's principles and politics, in order to keep your license to practice. Wow. Um, and 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 so. What has happened over the past four years is that that particular policy was repealed because we managed to get people elected to the board. But that particular policy was only one of thirteen policies that are have been have been adopted and are set to go. Most have not been put in place yet, but they're in process. And so there was success with respect to that specific requirement, but all of the others are 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 really have a green light now. But Let's just talk about this, this, these terms, equity, diversity, and inclusion, because they well, sound actually, I might, terrific. I might actually pause you here because uh, we're going to sure. cut to commercial in just about 10 seconds, and I feel that we're going to unpack a very, very big discussion here. So stick around, okay. and we'll be right back after these commercial break.